Oh, well, this is TJ Lyons. We're uh, out in my backyard. This isn't something I want to do in the uh, basement this time around. And what we're looking at is the spread rate of fire retirement poly versus uh, standard poly sheeting. We have two uh, similar sources of fuel here. On the bottom, we have a piece of rubber with a little bit of kerosene in it. And on the right, we have fire retardant poly. poly. And on the left, we have uh, standard poly. And we're going to be looking at two things here. First is how fast this flame actually spreads, but also the ability of the uh, poly sheeting to self-extinguish. One of the concerns with poly sheeting is that it will continue to uh, burn on its own after it's left the source of ignition. Again, the one on the left is standard poly, and the one on the right is fire resistant poly. First thing you can see that's pretty apparent is the one on the right does not allow itself to continue to burn, uh, whereas the one on the left is already starting to climb. It's almost a third to two thirds larger in the uh, flame area than the one on the left. The one on the right really hasn't grown in size at all, only the fuel's burning, whereas the one on the left now is about three quarters to uh, twice as large as the one on the right, proving that the flame spread doesn't occur on fire retardant poly, uh, nor is it self-propagating as standard poly is on the left that will allow the fire to burn past the point of ignition. Cool stuff. That's it.